Hello and welcome back to our Springfield project on the church. So I'm just going to go ahead and place the most important part of the build, putting on the cross. And I've been wanting to do that for a while, so I just thought I'd jump straight in and put it on. Uh, I just start right next to the second layer down of three blocks across of the windows and just go up to the edge. So guys, I know my map in now, so I'm going to come out six, including the one on the corner, and I'm going to fill all of that in. And on the opposite side, it will be seven, including the corner piece that's already there. And we can run this all the way across, at least for now. So like I say, seven including the one on the side, so one, two, three, four, five, and six, and we're just going to fill all of that in. And we're just going to fill in the little gaps in the roof, uh, not so much here. Go back to our block and start filling in again. So now we're going to start pulling it out, ready to put that inside of the church in. So what I'm going to do is just put the edges in uh, to make it look a bit more of a curve. So two on the top. So it'll be one to two. And then working our way across after three, we'll knock one away. So it'll be one, two, and then a three on the top, knocking away four. And we'll do the same on the other side. As you can see, I've confused myself a little. <laughs> so same as before, one, two, step across from a third one, knock away, make that four, and make it all the way across. So now we're going to start dragging out the back end. So I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 on the end, 10 in total and dragging it back across. And obviously add in your 10, dragging it back into the wall. So we're going to take it up two levels uh, before we start chucking in our windows. So same as before guys, except this time we're only having one as a spacer, except in a minute I'm going to change it round, I'm going to put one on the corner and I have two blocks as a space in between or the middle. basically working our way up from the start we'd have the two windows on the sides with one as spacers and then one in the middle having two blocks either side of the window don't know where I miscalculated on the size but once I'd already done it I just stuck with it So 
So now I've got my two windows, I'll knock our block away, put it next to the other one. And then put one the other side next to that one. Just to really keep, try and keep it symmetrical as much as possible. So we're going to fill in this back line and we're just going to drag it across. Basically I'm going to put two on each end. So two there, third one on that one and leaving a space of five. Doing the same on the opposite side, so one, two and one, two there. So an extra one there and an extra one on the other side just to make it five in length. And now it's more of a case now we're going to start dragging back our wall. Starting to fill it up to where it should be. Just making that sort of cave sort of feeling. Trying to keep it nice and angled so it looks right inside. Uh, because on the inside there is no wood showing. It is purely just um, plaster maybe. Uh, but the outside of the building. So now it's all about just dragging this across to the corners. And obviously try not to forget that you need to add one extra into the corners. Then we repeat the process over the other side. Now it's a bit annoying that the windows ain't as big as they could be um, but obviously the only way to get them bigger now is to upscale the whole building and that's quite a big job so I'm quite happy to leave it the way it is and work with what's left uh, as long as it stays as accurate as possible I'm quite happy so guys I'm just now just building my frame out so I can connect it to the other one trying to knock away any extra blocks and there's our frame to work with so now it's all about just filling in the gaps, dragging this wall all the way across, remembering to put in our extra corner pieces once we've filled it in. And right here we're just going to place one in the corner there because there's one already on the other side. So it worked out quite well on getting the building going up and obviously we're going to fill this one in and then put in our two corner pieces so one there and one there and repeating the process over the other side So we've already got one corner piece and we put in the other one. And now to build this side up, completing all the window frames as you're going along. So now let's fill this one in and then put your corner pieces in. And now for the middle one is just putting in the corner pieces. And that is the frame right there ready for the pew to go in. So really guys, for the, the windows, it's, it's random, you can do whatever you want, just trying to mix it up a little, keep the right colours going in. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Um, it is a pain, but it's part of the process of the building.
So now guys it's all about using our sand blocks because we want the inside as accurate as possible as well. So we're just going to pull our frame from one side to the other before we then layer it with our wooden slabs, our dark oak slabs. So guys, now we've got that completed, we're going to move on to our dark oak wood slabs. We're just going to layer it up, same as we would for the rest of the roof. I won't make you watch here. So there we go guys, we've got our roof done. That's the shape of the building, looking very nice actually. And really, it is complete on the outside. We've just got to put a couple of extra bits on. Um, really, I want to get this... Uh, outside moved a little bit the outside of the door here so I'm gonna knock it away really I did want to use the step to keep it looking the way it was but um, because we need a couple of steps going up into it uh, which obviously we then put a step on the inside going back down it was just a case of really just needing to get it done I tried to use the steps but uh, we would use, use a whole block rather than half a block on the top. So for me, I had to do away with the stairs and just take it up the extra half a slab from where it is now. Just realistically so that we could finish off the doors and make sure it was looking as good as it could do. So we're just going to come one up from it, knock away them just going to layer it across the you know, the frame of the door frame. I've come out four blocks there. So I'm going to go ahead and put in some clear window blocks, um, but I do need to knock away the bottom first and just make sure that it's showing a wood frame underneath. Plus I was a little bit undecided as to what I was doing with the steps. Um, I keep looking back at pictures and then changing my mind on what I'm actually thinking. But um, that's not a bad thing, it just means we're getting closer to the end and I want to see it look as good as it can do. So now we're going to go ahead and chuck in our glass blocks again, lining it all the way up. And remembering only to put one row on this side. Uh, don't do the second because there'll be a step going up. Uh, sorry guys for the pause, it's just where I'm looking at a picture um, just to really sort of get a look for the, the front entrance and I'm going to start using some uh, slabs and we're just going to start building up this layer we're going to build across to the glass the glass step itself uh, the glass block itself, sorry so that is my steps there just two on top, two for the bottom and then obviously the path will be in the ground at ground level. Now we will have to put an extra one on each side, so covering up. Don't worry about the last piece, we want to leave that empty. Um, so it will actually be six wide rather than doing it like this. 
um, because then we want to put in a sandstone just as like a, a wall coming down the side of the steps. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to knock these ones away. And I'm going to put sandstone in instead. Place one, two, and then I'm going to place half a slab on top, which... To be honest, I don't like the idea of half slabs uh, for when you put fencing on. So then we come back to one. And I actually do end up going back to an actual full slab on the very last one as well. So we're going to drag our window boxes all the way across to the back, uh, to the very side of the building, and then heading back in on the side of the building. So. When I finish looking at pictures, <laughs> uh, I will drag it all the way across to the edge of the building and then running it backwards inwards to there. So knock that one away. Going across to the other side, doing the same, but um, keeping it to the edge. So we're going to run it out that far. Now, I thought that it would have a gully sort of at the side, but it hasn't. So I'm going to knock that one away, take it to the edge of that. Uh, build in there and then come back out again and tie it onto the other edge. So I'm going to pull this one back, knock that one away and then from the wall there I'm going to start pulling it back and then go straight back into the edge again. And know we're just going to chuck a load of wild grass down because it's much easier than making the bushes plus it's less time consuming um, so it's, it's just a much easier process uh, whether I change it later on I'm not too sure this is just really to get this part done externally I want to finish inside still not completely sure what I'm going to do with it yet um, basically I'm just going to chuck some doors on make it like a hall um, put a couple of doors going on into the main church so you have like a main reception area in the double doors here offices on either side and then the double doors going into the actual church And obviously you want to chuck on two doors um, just to finish off your build. I didn't actually remember to put it in the video, I'm afraid. And for you guys it may be different here because obviously you've got a, a different entrance to yours. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and dig out my path, connect it to my road here. Um, you can see that I'm actually not going to have a road going down the right hand side of the building anymore. Um, because the building's a lot bigger than I thought and I obviously want the grounds there with the church as well so it's not a bad thing it just means my map is actually getting bigger and obviously with it getting bigger it's actually making buildings look smaller when you're first building them because it's not an empty space anymore they sort of have got to sort of tie in with the rest of the builds and it's now showing quite a lot how big the map is getting I will do a tour. Um, like I say to you guys, um, I will give this map away as soon as it's done. Um, when it becomes possible, uh, October time, I will start putting out building downloads for my subscribers or doing private videos for you guys with uh, the download link. And I will do a tour quite soon. I want to get a couple more builds done. And then we'll start having a look around the Springfield, see where we've got with it and see what buildings are most necessary next. So here we go guys, I'm just going to put my uh, columns in for the end of the trellis there. And I've got to start building the fence back across here. And this is why I end up putting the, uh, the slabs in on the front, purely because it's leaving a pole hanging up and I just don't like the look on it. I don't mind towards the door, um, because it can be sort of accounted for by the wall on the inside. So doing the same over this side. We're just going to pull it back.
And there you have it guys, I'm just going to chuck in an extra half a slab under these uh, stones. But apart from that, that is the end for now. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I shall catch you very shortly with part 5. Thanks for watching guys.